Now, baby, day two was awful. Like, I literally could not move. Like, I didn't have any, like, strength in my joints. They felt so weak. They hurt. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Sierra. For those who are new, don't forget to hit the subscribe button just to stay up to date with my latest uploads. So here on my channel, we are all about creating a life you love. So with that being said, let's hop on in. So as you guys can see on my neck, I have this beautiful, 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 beautiful scar. And I've been watching so many videos about like people who have to get their thyroid removed and how they hate their scars and honestly i appreciate this scar so much um i just want to give you guys an update on what's been going on uh, my post-op process a little bit of what i experienced before and after surgery um so just a little update on what's been going on with this situation here um so i'll just start from the beginning so um i had to get my thyroid removed if you guys have not seen in my previous videos um I had to make the decision to take out half or take out the whole thing because I had a nodule growing on it. My nodule biopsy came back atypica, which is abnormal, and they were like, it's a 50% chance that it's cancer. So they were like, if it's cancer, we're going to have to take the whole thing out. But they couldn't really tell, so they had to take one side out and kind of test it, or they can just take the whole thing out. So the, the risk that you run with that is if they take half, I mean, if they take the whole thing out and it was benign, like, now you're stuck uh, living the rest of your life on medicine. So, I didn't want to do that. So, I was like, let's just go with the half. And I'm glad I went with the half because my results came back benign and I'm so happy. You guys literally don't understand, like, for the past five months, I've been going through it. Like... I feel like I haven't been able to make content. I feel like I have not been able to just be my absolute best self. I felt like I couldn't literally get anything I wanted. I just felt like in such a negative headspace because like in the back of my mind every single day, it doesn't matter what I was doing. I'm like, you, it's a possibility that you got cancer in your neck right now. And um, it was freaking me out. And I was mean, I was irritable. And that's probably not even from me thinking that it was cancer. Like. You guys got to be hip and updated to like hip and updated on like your health and your body. Like your thyroid controls so many of uh, your hormones and your metabolism. And like all these things that I were feeling like could have been, you know, symptoms of, you know, my thyroid. Or it could have just been like my mental headspace was not there. But I can honestly say since getting half of it removed, I feel so much better. Like, um... I just overall feel better like I feel like I'm more sharp I can remember things um, I just don't feel like groggy and tired like I'm not napping like I literally was so drained when I had this nodule growing in my neck and like the crazy thing is like I the crazy thing is like I had the opportunity to get it removed like a couple days before my birthday but I was like I don't want to have this scar on my neck like on my birthday so like for vanity reasons I literally tortured myself for five months because they didn't um have another surgery date until the end of May which is the surgery date that I just had and to find out that it wasn't even cancer like I should have been got this thing out I could have been back living life you know so um yeah, that's just kind of like an overview of everything that went on. But I just want to kind of talk about like, um, I guess post-op a little bit. So I want to say like the first day I did have footage. I don't know if I still have it. Um, my phone reset. So I'll see if I have it in my cloud. But if not, hey guys. So I made it. And this is my scar on day one. Post-op. Uh the medicine did not do me well at all. Uh, I couldn't walk. I couldn't pull myself up. I had to have assistance. Like, I, I was a granny. Um, I'll just let you guys know what was going on. So, the first day, like, when I got home from the hospital, you know, it was fine. I was like, okay, my throat hurt. My neck hurts, you know. I know they were in there cutting it. So, then, I'm just like okay i can do this as long as i'm starting to feel better each day now baby day two was awful like i literally could not 
move like i didn't have any like strength in my joints they felt so weak they hurt um luckily my boyfriend was here to help me walk help like get me up out of the bed like i felt like i had to be 100 years old and i'm not even playing y'all like it was awful and like my mom had the same surgery and like she didn't experience this so i called like the ent and they're like oh it's probably just a, a response from the uh, anesthesia and i was just like confused and then they also had me on oxy and i was like are these withdrawal symptoms like i was just like tripping so like immediately i stopped taking the oxy like i didn't want like that in my system anymore so I, so I started taking tylenol and honestly once i started taking tylenol i actually started to feel like a little bit better um so gradually as the days went on i started to regain that strength in my joints and um i felt like i healed pretty or just got back to like normal pretty quick like i said it's day 11 and i actually went to the gym today and i went to the gym yesterday um before i actually went to the gym i was like walking in my neighborhood and i did ask my surgeon could i walk on the treadmill and he said that that's fine but i took that as an opportunity to do what's comfortable for you and i feel like i prepared myself for surgery i was working out two times a day so when i went to work out today everything was pretty much easy breezy i didn't go like as hard as like i usually go um i did everything with lighter reps and things like that so i didn't like overwork myself i did more a lot more lower body than upper body so i wasn't like you know straining when i'm doing stuff like this straining on my neck so i didn't really do too much upper body didn't do too much core because core I realized this today when I was trying to do some core work like that it does like pull on your neck so I didn't really do that so I kind of just focused on upper body just I mean lower body and did some cardio so um but that's helping me feel better because I feel like I'm getting back in my groove um so my post-op experience as far as surgery has been pretty easy breezy i think it to me it was like at first i was enjoying it like i literally was binge watching uh married to medicine like i'm like oh yes this is great people are waiting on me people was taking my dog out like it was just good i started to get a little stir crazy by day seven so like a week i'm like okay i need to leave this house like somebody come get me like bro i was like i was literally like losing it so um, I was happy I'm finally able to drive again. Uh, I went out to my dad's boat yesterday and picked him up from his boat and took him home. So I got an opportunity to get out and um, I think this is experience has just made me like appreciate life. Um, it makes me want to be more careful with my body, pay more attention to my body and only really put good things in my body. Um, I know I'm still probably gonna have a junk food here and there and but um, I just want to do a better job of just paying attention because your body gives you signs like way early on. And I feel like I was having the, the signs of like something was going wrong for a long time. And I couldn't really pinpoint what it was because I actually went to the doctor and they were like, your thyroid numbers are fine. But um, the more research I'm doing now is realizing that people who have thyroid issues, a lot of times their numbers are fine because the doctor only checks one number. And usually it's sometimes even in like a low normal range. It's not like at its optimal best. So that is the situation that I was in. Like I was kind of like in a low normal range, but it wasn't like my thyroid it was at optimum health for a healthy functioning person so i was literally having so much tiredness i was irritable like not to get personal like no sex drive like literally i just felt dead on the inside and then i thought it was like i'm like is this like my mental health like am i okay so then i'm like well dang do i need to start back going to therapy and really it was all just pinpointing to my hormones my body was not functioning correctly so i do want to highly highly stress if you're not feeling good on the inside and you feel like you know you eating right you working out you you doing the right things and you still not feeling good I want to say first start to write down everything document it make sure even if you are eating good make sure you take a supplement supplements are vital a lot of times we're not getting a lot, all the nutrients that we're supposed to be getting um, from food um, our bodies may not absorb all the nutrients and things like that so it's always good to get some supplements you know you have to do your own research on what supplements you need 
um and then if you're still not feeling good go see a doctor like and get a second opinion because that's something i didn't do i just kind of went with what my doctor said and then it just gradually got worse and i didn't really get any help until i actually physically saw you know the, my thyroid starting to poke out my neck so pay attention to your body your body gives you signals your body gives you signs so just your body knows what to do the whole time your body is literally just trying to keep you alive and it's just like i said this experience has given me such more appreciation for my body like i have to really love myself and like i spent so much time in my life I'm not gonna cry hating like my like almost like hating myself because other people didn't like me or they didn't like how I looked or I was light skinned or I was overweight and I was like teased for this stuff so like I spent so much time keeping those negative opinions like in my head and that not appreciating myself for who I am and who God made me to be worried about like just not fitting in not being like everybody else but like why fit in with everybody else so god has made you to stand out so um i didn't even say all that that kind of just came out so maybe it was meant for somebody but um like i said i was just here to give you guys an update on what's been going on with my battle scar my beauty scar and i'm so happy like my thyroid nodule came back benign it wasn't cancer i spent five months of my life freaking out for nothing um and i don't know i gotta work on that i don't like being in that headspace but it was just i think it was the numbers thing it was just like you can't be too sure because like they said the same thing to my mom and I feel like she kind of was just walking around like, yeah, I know it's not that. And then it was. So then it was kind of, I think that kind of stifled me because I'm like, I don't want to get too happy. And then like, I have to go get another surgery and get it removed. So, um, yeah, it's been a long, a long long five months for me so this month i am doing everything to just love on myself and put good things into my body and just try new things just overall giving myself a little bit more love and attention so i am refreshing and restoring reflecting and restoring this month um i did create a challenge uh, for myself and i'm doing these things every day if you guys want to join this to my challenge i will put the link below for you guys to get a copy um but i hope you guys enjoyed this video hopefully i can get back into my regular content and not be freaking out all the time so um i hope it inspires somebody um encourages somebody and um be sure to comment down below if you may be dealing with the same things and yeah i'll probably do a little couple videos like occasionally just updating you guys on my scar like i said i still have the surgical tape and stuff on there so you guys will see this progress as it you know starts to heal and don't forget to subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later bye